Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 10. Last time, of course, we built this lovely squid farm here, and I insulted you all in the intro of the video, which I'm not going to do this time. You stupid little nerds. Just kidding, of course. And I also did see the post on the Hermitcraft subreddit saying that I was bordering on the verge of mania, which, to be honest, I took as a compliment. Me and Lizzie had a good laugh about the whole post. It was so good. But today we have got a big build planned. It's going to be cool. And I don't want to set the precedent that each episode I build something bigger because that's not going to happen, okay? It's, it's just happening at the moment because... I'm really into this style and I've had this idea and I think it's awesome. But first, I had an email from someone called Goose, who could be my wingman any day, as they have told me that it's actually possible to have actual Japanese characters in Minecraft if you use the katakana alphabet. I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. And they linked me the translation for Glow Squid in Japanese. So I'm going to remove these banners here, although we will save them for later. And let's make some new ones. And voila, we have replaced it. And apparently this spells out Hikari Ika. I don't know how you pronounce it. I, I've just got it written down, which apparently is Glow Squid. And I would love to do this on every sort of build we have in the future, the authentic lettering. However, I am very much struggling on how to find how to translate it. I found a translator online and translated Glow Squid on that to make sure it would match. However, I got this on the screen instead. So it's, it's a bit confusing to me when I know zero <laughs> Japanese. But hopefully that's correct. Please let me know in the comments if it's not and it is something really offensive and I've been pranked. But I, I'm sure no one would prank me, a sweet innocent boy. Now speaking of this Glow Squid farm, I want to decorate... Hello? What the... I want to decorate the inside here with a cactus farm. But before we do that, uh, I, I try to kill some people again. And um, you can probably tell by my enchantment points, but here's how it went. So Green and I spent 40 minutes digging out a big hole underneath XB's base. And there we have it. Perfect. Do you know what? Because it's so deep down. Three high spikes. Let's go. Three. Some on in some spots. Some some of them are three. Yeah. Well, if he doesn't die, fair play to him. Yeah, if he survives. I mean, there are ways to foolproof this more, but it means a whole lot more digging, and I've had enough. So there was no TNT involved in this trap. The idea was an old-fashioned spleef him into a big hole and hope he dies. And he's just come online, so I think it's time he dies. Hypno was there and had just had a trap that failed to kill XB, so now it was my turn. No, there's definitely no more traps here. What no are you more traps about? whatsoever. Look, there's mm. no traps out here. Can you see any traps? The fact that, that Beans came over mm. to see what happened. Yeah. Did you, mm. Mm. Now, now, super sus. Super sus. Very sus. sus. No! <laughs> <laughs> God of that time. <gasps> I thought you were stood on the block. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that is embarrassing. What have you? Why did you go without me? You know, you know, you know. I know I'm terrible at traps. I know. Okay. You know what happens. Let's go. You don't have he's help. still online, Green. We can still get him. He, he's probably yeah, trying know, to fill in I the know. hole. Look, look, look. We're gonna we're gonna make an invis potion. I'm gonna go up to him and ask him what happened. Hopefully, he's gonna look in. Yeah. Yeah. We can salvage this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is the quite edge, the hole. And he missed and fell down himself. He did. That's impressive. I see you. I see. You. Hey. Hey. Get back! Who are you I talking to? You. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, you want to go near it? You want to go near it? Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, I was trying to find my moment. There was no moment. But we weren't giving up. We built a TNT minecart rail underneath, and we were just going to activate it manually. He's run over it, isn't he not? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. XB, what's going on? Did, did someone try and blow Beans. you up? 
What's going on, XP? You just want to try and beat up. There's a big hole here. What's happened? <laughs> there is a, another, another big hole. What? Why? Where did this come from? It's genuinely getting embarrassing now. Um, not sure what to uh, to do about this problem. Want to retire? Want to cry? Maybe, maybe even both of those. But instead, I guess I'll build a cactus farm and. It's going to be pretty boring, so let me do one of my sick transitions where I swipe to the right, and then it's transitioned, and I'll say a word as well, so it's really smooth, like, bana, na na, nailed it. Anyway, look, it's not much. It's a little interior, just sort of kneaded it up, adding in some sort of like pipes in here, plus some lanterns, and also cactus farm. There's five chests, which make it seem like it's going to be really impressive, but... It's not. There's like 12 bits of cactus. There's six here. And there's six on the layer above as well. But it's not meant to be impressive, okay? It's not meant to be. It's just to get a little bit of green dye so we can get some sign concrete, sign banners, etc. Now, our glow squid farm uh, has had a bit of a problem. As you can see, every single axolotl is dead. And that's because there's a general flaw in the design. Oh my gosh, why is it zooming in so much? That's better. You could almost smell my breath. And I just had a cup of tea. So it would smell like tea. But the problem with this farm is it being pitch black, uh, drowned spawn. So the drowned will fight the axolotls and kill them, which is why we're getting so much rotten flesh in here. Sometimes the axolotls win, but eventually the axolotls die. Anyone in the comments knows how to fix this, please tell me, as I'm, I'm terrible at farms. But last night during our Hermitcraft meeting, I went and got a couple of axolotls, and as you can see, I've been breeding them. I also mined a lot of copper. Now I know what you're thinking, Joel. Show us the next build. Don't try and trap people again, Joel. You're terrible at it, Joel. I know I'm terrible at it. I should retire, but I'm also stubborn. And you guys are stupid. I've already told you that. You don't know what you're talking about. I do. And I've decided I'm just going to go crazy with the TNT. But unfortunately, I have no TNT. Luckily, I know a Canadian man who has some. Now, unfortunately, as Etho's Canadian, he's probably asleep right now. So I'm going to take two stacks of gunpowder, but also leave him a chest with a note. Now, Etho mentioned that he liked my banners at one point, so I've given him a load of the banner designs and also written a book here saying, Hello, Etho. I've taken two stacks of gunpowder because I need to try and kill people as it's getting embarrassing now. I notice you are building in a similar style as me, obsessed much, so I thought I would offer some banners I've been using in return. If you use them, make sure to think of me whenever you look at them. Neck kisses, Joel. So let's put that in there and let's go get some sand and make some TNT. Now let's head over to False's area. And yes, I am on a horse. I know I've given in. I, I, it's just so slow getting over here. And I think this here is False's house. But it looks like she's making a path here. And I'm guessing we'll delete these blocks. So maybe let's trap this block right here. So when she breaks it, it will blow up. This one surely will work. Surely. I need to make sure to place them all on the same bit here. And this is 11 TNT minecarts. But you know what? 11's not enough. 13, which is a lot of people's unlucky number, but is actually my lucky number. Wait, who, who did this? Who put future cult? What? I... I don't start cults all, all the time, just sometimes. There's no cult going on yet. Anyway, it's time to move on to doing some actual work and building something. And this next building is actually going to go behind me. And no, I'm not going to get rid of this little shack here. It's going to go behind that as well. And I'm not going to say what it is yet, although it's probably in the title and the thumbnail. But I'm not going to spoil it. That would be silly. I'm going to go gather some materials. And stupid editor Joel is going to tell you something pretty exciting. Yes, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this yet in a video, but I'm actually going to Japan for a couple of weeks in the not so distant future. I'm very excited. I'm going to get loads of inspiration for this Hermitcraft season. And then after that, I'm going to the future where I'm going to get some inspiration for my cyberpunk town. Just kidding. I wish that was true. I'm very excited about my trip. It's going to be amazing. And I'm also excited 
about all this stuff in here. We've got so many materials. This is a big build. And we also need to clear out a decent amount of space here. But before we do any of that, me and Grian have been messing around on Creative as it's XB's birthday today and he's streaming. And you know what? I think we've got a pretty good gift for him. But first, we got our own little gift from Impulse. Oh, snap. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I have to Mining iron for so long. Yo. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank that. You, thank you for the help <laughs> towards the cause. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Thank you. Joe, we're not giving up. We're not giving up. One big attempt, Green. One final big attempt. It, he's going to so, die. He needs so to die. I, 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 I messaged Joel, right? And I was like, I want to do Exodia. I want Exodia. to make the biggest explosion that will absolutely decimate him. Right? Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So we drank up some invisibility potions just to hide our names more than anything and dug to the project he has been working on. I'm going to set a timer on my phone for the invisible potion so it, we, we don't get caught. I, I, I'm, it's very over the top, but I'm just scared, all right? He's okay. so Are close. Oh, high? wait. Who's that flying in? Hypno's there. That was Hypno. Okay. Is that... Oh, man. We're really close. Hopefully he's distracted because he is streaming right now. So hopefully yeah, he doesn't yeah, hear yeah. us. My pickaxe... You're going to have to start digging, dude, because... My pickaxe is super low. Okay, he's, he's going gone, away, he's, he's, gone, gone, he's gone. Gone. Go, 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 I've dug into his base. His base is here. Wait, the obsidian might protect it. Place obsidian over it. That's as far as we can go. Right. Start setting the rails up and I will... Yeah, I'll put the... Yeah, got it. Oh, I'm, I'm, my heart's going. Mine's going as well. This is absolutely my terrifying. My heart's going. This is going to be barbaric overkill as well. Hypno's right above us right now. What's he doing? Who's digging? Who's digging? Hypno. It's Hypno. This is... This is so overkill. This, this is, is like... <laughs> this is... This is Exodia incarnate. If he survives this, I, 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 I don't know what to do anymore. Like, this is just an obscene amount of TNT. There's... At the moment, I've just put so many on this one here. I don't want to talk about how many's on there. Oh, God. we're gonna have to help him so hard with his base if this is as bad as I think it's gonna be. Yeah, come on. Where is he? Come back, XB. We waited underground for 40 minutes to the point we had run out of invisibility potions and just had to crouch. Got a whole shift now. How about you? But I'm 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 here for the anvils. That's valuable. <laughs> Go for it. Get all oh, the this could go to waste. <laughs> We messaged Pearl and tried to get her to help us lure him in. But I just want to see what you're playing in. What kind of layout are you going to go for? Well, right now it's just... It's going to be modern. An aquarium. <laughs> Did you get the anvil from here, Pearl? <laughs> yeah, I got everything. <laughs> from this chest? No. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's... Obliterate! Yes! 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 We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let's go! Happy birthday! Oh my gosh! In slow motion, you can see we timed it absolutely perfectly. All the minecarts hitting him, and oh, what the heck? Where's Garal's going? XB, I'm so sorry, but happy birthday, no, my not. guy. You're, I'm... Not, you're not even a little sorry. Oh, is, is the base okay? We were a bit worried about the base. What base? It's not going to exist anymore. Uh, most of your chests are okay. It looks okay. What base? Oh, XB, I, any diamonds you lost, I'll give you back and stuff. Like, don't worry I about it. I lost all my gear. I'll like, give everything. you everything. I'm so sorry. Like, you could have uh, my tools. Hypno, you you owe Hypno a beacon. Oh, did it blow up the beacon? And blocks of emerald. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Grian, look hole. at the size of the hole. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's at about least, four times the size still... as it should be. <laughs> at least I, st uh, hey, guys, see, how, at least I still TNT have this. How much TNT was that? It was uh, about... Oh, that. XP, it don't was 74. mock me. Yeah. Oh, see this? 74? <laughs> <See this? laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look, listen, listen. Oh, yeah, this if he good. had died the first time, we wouldn't be in this situation. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you, you wanted this excavated, though, right? No. Not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh Don't worry, me no. and Joel are going to fix it now. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get some succeeding. materials. I just wanted to come over and see the mess and... It this is, is way mess. bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, guys, my name 
It's great. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Oh, I'm finally no. dead. You did it. Doesn't that <laughs> finally You're finally happen? dead. Oh, <laughs> XP. It's works. been a good battle. Feel free to get some uh -huh. revenge in the future. But oh, yeah. You were definitely. that you were a very hard man to kill. It doesn't it takes a lot a lot a big man to be blown up by 74 TNT. <laughs> That's so true. So, uh, you're welcome. Um. Uh and I, I'm so sorry. Now, obviously, we made a massive mess, but when we prank hard, we clean up harder. So we got some video footage of the base before and made sure we replaced everything exactly how it was. And also, Impulse and Skiz helped us out by getting a new beacon for XB. So in the end, it looked like the explosion had never happened. Hopefully, this is exactly how you left it. We're trying to sort this machine at the moment, but apart from that, everything should be... Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Nah, we're going to fix it if we messed it up. Also, here, take these to cover the cost. Hopefully that's... Oh, I got, I got so many diamonds. Are you sure? I mean, I've got so many oh, diamonds yeah. as well, and we feel bad. I blew I've you got, up. I've got 43 blocks in my... What? Chest, so. How do you have 43 blocks? Yeah, take them back, Joel. Take yeah, I'm taking them back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel so guilty anymore about the diamonds. <laughs> You're okay. And I could already see that you've been enchanting, and what the heck, like... I still don't have an enchanted diamond yeah. armor. Oh, get out of here. Also, I actually fixed the other holes I made as well. So there you go. <laughs> oh, You're wait. Did, oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> look at that. There's no holes at all anymore. Wow, look at that. You could, there's it... so much room for activities and stuff. Yeah, no more potholes. <laughs> bean, uh, bean holes? Oh, that bean sounds hole? weird somehow. So maybe not say bean <laughs> hole. Guys, what a legend XB is for taking that so well. Make sure you go show him some love. It shows a lot that we had to use 74 TNT and like four people to kill him. He avoided it for so long. I feel a bit bad because it was such a big explosion, but at the same time, that's the game, baby. That's the game. He's going to mock me forever wearing my skull. I'm determined no one else will get my skull. He's the only one who has it at the moment. But anyway, it's time to get some building done and we're going to go straight into a time lapse here of us clearing out all this dirt and stone and placing down a new portal. But this here is the side of the building. This is not the main part of the building that we're building today. Oh, no, no. We're focusing on the front, this side here, where we're going for a very new sort of style to the area. Very cyberpunk style, which I think is looking so, so cool. Now, obviously, it's not detailed yet, but as you can see, this is a very more industrial sort of cyberpunk vibe, especially on this side. We go a bit more, you know different vibe on this side here which by the way i've cleared out the ground i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this although i do need to fix that dirt and stone that looks terrible but this thing is not detailed yet however before we can detail it i need some end rods so i'm going to go to the end to collect some chorus fruit because by the way ah, by the way we've linked up all our portals on the roof now so it's easy to get around i'm quite enjoying not having a leecher at the moment so let's just collect some of this chorus fruit fruit and let's also grab some of the flowers so we can plant them before we get decorating everything else though there's one thing i want to add first and that involves this big circle here we're gonna extend out the copper blocks here like so as the plan is to have a rail system going through our base kind of cutting across the street at many times, going into the mountain, linking stuff up. Maybe we can even link it up to the other magic mountaineers. But of course, we want this thing to look nice. And we're going to start out by making a pillar connecting this up. And I'm going to use some warped wood and let's use some lightning rods. Maybe a warped fence in the middle like that. Yeah, that's quite cool. And luckily, we've been using loads of redstone torches around. So we can sort of incorporate these into the designs. But I want to do something purely decorative. And for that, I've grabbed this grindstone here. And I'm going to put chains along the top of the rail like so. However, I want it to go that way from here. And obviously, chains don't link up on corners. So instead, we're going to have a slab being held up by some walls here. And then we're free to go off in this direction like so. And that looks cool. And I was thinking this space here would be perfect for a station. So in fact, let's detail this side of the building, which I've not really been detailing anything on this side yet, as you can see. But this bit here, we will. All right, let's get started by placing a wall up here 
like so. Actually, I hate those corners. Let's put some droppers in the corners instead. Then I'm gonna use some trap doors here for these windows, just to add a little bit of detail. Also, I didn't even realize I missed some purple concrete there. And then we're gonna add on some yellow glow signs just underneath the windows. A dark oakwood door that leads to nowhere for now. Then I've added some chests and barrels down here and a little banner. For the next bit here, I want to add in some cherry bushes mixed with some azalea bushes. Then add in some stained glass windows. And then for the next layer, I'm going to go a bit more simple and just plant some bamboo but do the stained glass windows again. And then let's zoom it in. This is where the train platform's gonna be. So let's clear out the wall here and then fill it back in. And then we're gonna use our first end rods to add some sort of, you know, subway lighting in, plus carry on the chains all the way down. Then add a little seat, a little cherry bush, and some barrels just because they're easy. And that's this part all decorated. Lovely. All right, that's looking good for the back of the build. But we need to finish off this front bit now. And rather than walking you through it, as there's not that much, let's instead do a quick before, which is right here, right now. Ooh, look at it, it's before. And then wham, transition into after. And there we go. I'm thinking this is looking pretty cool. You will probably notice that on this side up here, there isn't as much detail. That's because there may be buildings going next to this in the future. I'm not sure. Same with the back. I just don't know what to do with that yet. But there's a way into the station up here. You just got to go up these stairs. And then when we get some redstone and gold, as we have none, we will put a rail system going in here. And the plan is for it to go, you know, through buildings etc. But let's have a final look at our little area here with some shaders. Bam! There they are. Here's some more shaders because I like to do this. Bam! Lovely jubbly. Oh, this is an exciting one because next time we're going to extend the roads. I think it's time we do it. It's going to be a big project, but it needs to be done. And you'll notice I've also gone a bit easy on the detailing on this one in comparison to all the signs and stuff because I don't want my FPS to get too low in this area. I need to hold back a bit. I'm keeping the main detailing bits on the bits close to the street, as you can see. The ones a bit further back out of view, not so highly detailed detailed. But that's all we got time for today on Hermitcraft. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new and I shall see you another time. Good. Bye.